Right, we've just emerged from taking a side path. Yeah, it was good. I'm glad I've done that actually. That can be quite a long slog coming up that one. And I didn't want to do the other side of the wood today. Isn't that long ago I did a bit of that. A week or so ago I did a bit. So the lower track was good and it wasn't too bad for walking. Um, no, it wasn't, so you just turn off there. That takes you down to Kewstoke. There's a sand bay over there. I'm now heading back. I'm glad I went that extra bit, actually. I'm really glad. It gave me a chance to express my feelings about my tree work. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, it did. videos to put on YouTube for the new new. There's some lovely trees here isn't it? It's a junction point here. What I'm going to do now, I went down that way the other week but I'm not doing that. I'm going straight across and straight down today. Heading for the spa. I'll get a little tiny bottle of Prosecco to go with my dinner. I've got a little bottle of red. I tend to... it's reductionism and it works. It does work because if I had a big bottle I wouldn't enjoy it. Um, I definitely wouldn't enjoy drinking a, a big bottle of... no not anymore, no. And I always feel you've got to drink it or it goes to waste. By those little bottles it also says that's enough. It's a bit like fags really. Because don't forget, a drink, we've got, we have, and we did have a big drinking culture. Uh, I mean, when I learnt to drive, you could drink and drive. Uh, you didn't have to wear seatbelts. You know, things have changed. I've come through all that. And uh, I've been a nurse. I've seen the other side of what happens to people's insides. It's a messy business, death through alcohol and fags. It's a messy business. But they are enjoyable things, but so basically what you have to do, I wouldn't go back to smoking at all because I still have breathing issues and that's probably through